And we're pleased to be joined by the new offensive coordinator of the New York Giants, Mike Kafka, who comes over from the Kansas City Chiefs. Welcome to the New York Giants, Coach. Um, just talk a little bit about the transition and getting this opportunity on Coach Dable's staff. Well, thank you, first off. It's, it's an honor to be here. Um, it's an amazing opportunity. And, you know, me and Dave's go back a little bit. And uh, to be able to jump into the staff with the amount of energy that it's creating with between him and Joe, um, putting together this thing has been awesome. So much fun. You mentioned that you crossed paths with Coach Dable. That was what when you were a player, right, with the New England Patriots? That's right. That's right. Probably close to 10 years now, eight, eight to 10 years now um, in New England. We, we crossed paths and got to know each other a little bit better. All right, Giants fans, don't hold it against him. He was drafted by the Eagles. Uh, <laughs> just joking around with you. <laughs> but um, talk about that experience of getting drafted, playing the position in the league, having an opportunity, and then transitioning into coaching and how that's helped you evolve into a coach. Yeah. So, obviously, you're, you're, you want to play for as long as you can, right? When you're a player, you want to, you want to be in the game, you want to be playing as long as you can. But um, I knew there was a point in time where, you know, that journey was going to end and then I was going to have to make a decision on which path I wanted to go. And, you know, I, I initially started maybe going down that entrepreneurial side, um, and, and kind of tested the waters there. And then the head football coach at Northwestern, my alma mater, reached out, Coach Fitz. And he was like, hey, we might have a graduate assistant job open up. Why don't you come and try it out and see if this is something you want to do? And, you know, I was like, okay, let's, you know, talk to my wife. And we made that decision and went to Northwestern and did a graduate graduate year there. And I tell you what, like three days into it, I'm like, this is exactly what I want to do. Just love being around the guys, helping like develop those guys. Um, just being around the X's and O's and just kind of getting a different view of how game plans are put together, how the details of the coaching and all those things like really um, fit my personality and fit what I enjoy doing to begin with. Even as a player, you know, you're a backup quarterback. You're always kind of coaching behind the scenes, helping guys as like the starters out there. So it was, it felt easy to me and felt comfortable and I just really enjoyed doing it. And so, you know, as I kind of, continued to take step by step on how what direction I want to take you know being in the quarterback room learning under coach Reed um, and that organization was a great um, you know was a great opportunity for me just to, to learn and grow as a person now to be in this position you know this is you know everything I ever wanted you mentioned your first foray into coaching is in the grad program at your alma mater, then you jump into the master class because Andy Reid is one of the great masters and a future Hall of Famer. What were some of the things that you will take from your experiences and what you learned from Coach Reid that you're going to translate into this next phase of your career? Yeah, I mean, I think big picture wise, you, you always think about, you know, generating those explosive plays. You know, the Kansas City offense is they're, they're going to throw deep. We're going to do those type of things downfield. I think that's important to understand that um, and understand that there has to be an element of your offense. Now, we got to take a step back and make sure it fits for our personnel, fits for the quarterback, fits for offensive line. But I think you want to be able to find ways to generate explosive, especially in this, this day and age in, in the NFL. Coach Dable obviously had spent a lot of time in New England uh, working with the Patriots and then doing what he did in Buffalo. You come more from the Andy Reid tree. What does that say about him? that he's willing to branch out and bring different thought processes to this Giants offense? It, it, it's unbelievable. It's from day one, he's been um, very open about, you know, making sure that we can collaborate on this thing and make it not the Chiefs offense or the Bills offense, but the New York Giants offense. So you take a look at some of the personnel that's here. Obviously, Daniel Jones had an outstanding rookie season. Um, there's been a lot of turnover as far as the coaching staff's concerned. But like the quarterback you were with in Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, and the one Coach Dable was with um, in Buffalo and Josh Allen, athletic. Brings a lot of athleticism to the table. What are some of the things that you guys hope you can bring out of DJ? Yeah, I mean, I think you said it. He's athletic. He can make every throw outside the pocket. Um, I think he can throw from different launch points. I think that's some of his best stuff. So, you know, just it's about making sure that we can make him as comfortable as possible. Um, put him in positions to be successful and um, make sure the playmakers around him can also be in positions too. So it's not just a one-man show. It's got to be a 11-man operation. You know, being creative with ways of getting those guys the football and getting the ball out of his hands and being creative with, with Daniel, I think, will be an element of that. So um, I think that's the challenge for us as a staff right now is, you know, a lot of different pieces. We all got to come together and put together, you know, a strong 
um, plan with some foresight so that we can take it, take advantage of it right now during this time, OTAs, and as we get, go through the off season. What would be uh, sort of because we any Giants fans that are watching this and anybody who has observed it has known that the Giants have struggled offensively the last couple of years. What would your message be to Giants fans about the direction that this offense will eventually head in? Yeah, I think I think what you got what you got to look at is right now we're trying to fit these pieces in. I think we have a an idea, right, from the offensive side. We have an idea and a vision for what we think this offense is going to look like. But we got to find out who those pieces are. I think right now, um, you know, we're going through that process, right? We're going through free agency. We're going through evaluating the guys currently on the team, and then we're going to go through the draft process. So there's there's a bunch of different steps we've got to take. And you know, I think um, I'm excited about the players we have in the building. I'm excited about the prospects that are out there. So you know, we got to make sure that we can build a program that is efficient and effective for all the guys on our team. Coach, welcome to the New York Thank Giants. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Mike Kafka, the new offensive coordinator of the New York Football Giants.